Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie, if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back to the fam. Why am I not wearing any necklaces? This week's video, I wanted to do a what's in my bag. My bag has been filling up with all sorts of useful things that I thought I might share with you. And I hope you enjoy the video. This is my bag. Honestly, I switch tote bags every day, depending on my outfit. Yes, I am that bitch. The contents of this bag also changes each day, depending on what lessons I have. This bag is actually was actually a 50p bag from H&M, uh, a reusable one, and boy, have I been reusing it. I've got this little pencil case. I think this was from Amazon a couple of years ago, but it's this really cute little watermelon pencil case. I've got a trusty pencil. I've got some headphones that fit um, iPhone, and I've got some that fit a laptop or an Android. Then I've got some various highlighters. Obviously I have to have the classic pla plastel, pastel highlighters that everybody has because I am, once again, bitch and then i have a load of chewed pens because i have a habit of chewing pens and i know it's disgusting but i'm sorry that's just that's just the way i am i take art so obviously the supplies in there might switch out as i'm doing different projects but that's like my basic go-to i don't even have a ruler i have my school lanyard which can't actually show you. I have a face mask. I usually have like three or four face masks in my bag at one time. I got this little set actually from Sheen. There was like a big, a larger size and a smaller size. I think the smaller size was meant for children and the bigger size was too big for me and we ended up accidentally buying the smaller ones as well. So I live in the child size of these. Now, this is something I'm particularly proud of. <laughs> when I go to work, I will also take a tote bag probably. And so having an emergency kit bag so I never forget anything is so, so useful because I can just switch this between bags. It's a little hype bag. I think I got this for my birthday one year from a friend. I don't know why I'm holding it up here. Um, but inside, whoa. But inside we have some glorious, glorious items. Basically, I won't show you my key, but I have this little key ring that my friend gave me. It's made out of clay and I think she, she made it and it's actually incredible. Incredible. Um, so my key is in my emergency bag because I'm always losing my key. I also have this little yellow bag which has a few hairball balls, hairpins in it. I did also have an even smaller little yellow bag in this bag which had gum in it because I was like, oh, I won't take the whole pot, I'll take three pieces and then keep replacing them. Don't do that because the gum gets sweaty and then the stickiness seeps through the bag because it's a mesh bag and gets everything else sticky and gets covered in fluff. Um, <laughs> I have some really strange things in here. I have probably an over 40 year old, if not a really old sewing bobbin. You never know when you're gonna need a sewing emergency when you're going to have a sewing emergency always carry deodorant with me sure seems to work a lot better for me than dove does no shaming to dove but i've got it in the scent bright bouquet um i have a concealer in here i guess i have a makeup emergency in case i suddenly burst into tears and i need to fix all the mascara that's running down my face but i don't have makeup remover i just cake it in concealer probably not the best idea but again my trusty lasting perfection can collection concealer. Have a tangle teaser in here. This little bag is honestly like a TARDIS. <laughs> I just keep pulling stuff out. This, yes, this is all in my little bag. I've got this gold tangle teaser. I carry a tangle teaser rather than a normal hairbrush because A, it's smaller and B, it doesn't frizz up my hair as much as other hairbrushes seem to. I then have this little mirror. So if I've got something in my eye, which seems to happen quite a lot, strangely. Um, <laughs> I can look in my little mirror and be, oh, that's funny, it morphs my face. Mm. It's a little Singapore one from Singapore and it's so cute. Now we move on to the toiletries. Pads, tampons. If you need a tampon, you girls got them. For some reason I have nail scissors in here. I don't think these are meant to be in there. I've got some tissues. I did have a whole pack of tissues, but it didn't, more tampons, but it didn't fit. So I've just got a few tissues. Lastly, but not least, this is only in here because I wore it the other day, but it's the Zoella X Colourpop um, Little One Lipstick. I love this lipstick. And I just had it in here in case I needed to top back up on stuff. 
that is the contents of my emergency bag. We're into WH Smiths and I swear all planners are so covered in footballs or unicorns. I was quite pleased with this find because it was like a safe in between in WH Smiths. It's this very busy pastel purple notebook. I actually really really like this. It's got little gold writing on the front with a little B. It says it's very it says very busy and it said 21 to 2022 so that I can record homework and stuff inside it and I just think this is so pretty. Next up we have my umbrella. <laughs> this umbrella has saved my butt. Ew, there's an elastic band attached to it. This umbrella has saved my butt. <laughs> I've got it in a food bag because I could only find a food bag. But when it's wet and you need to put it in your bag, you need the food bag. Um, this is a classic umbrella, one of the little coffee ones that pops up and down. I know it's bad luck to have umbrellas up inside and I'm now probably cursed for the next 20 years. But... She's just your average umbrella. Then we have my purse, which I actually got from Primark when I was in year eight. <laughs> and my friend's got a matching one, but it's actually coming really useful and it's not fallen apart yet. I don't want to jinx that, touch wood. But this purse has been a lifesaver. I sometimes downsize if my bag's too cramped, but it is quite a useful purse. It's got front sections, then it's got a zip pocket at the back. I initially started bringing a folder like this to school with me, but then I realized I couldn't actually carry enough uh, for my different subjects. So I have resorted to a eco. Oh, it's eco. It says 100% recyclable, 100% biodegradable. That's pretty cool. Um, a little plastic popper wallet thing. When it rained, none of my papers got wet. Um, my folder didn't disintegrate like some other people's did. I just take my homework or the stuff I need in for that day and I come home and then I put it in a folder like this, which I can keep at home. These folders, it's just this plain brown recycled cardboard. Ah! My notebooks that I have for different subjects. I've actually only used one because I've only needed one so far, but I bought three just in case, plus it was three for two, so I think might as well. These notebooks from Paper Chase, they are so pretty. They match all my other stationery as well, which makes me incredibly happy, like you would not believe. Brown paper notebooks like this, uh, but with a pattern on the front. And this is my personal favorite. It is Tiger's. And the pages inside, I find it really hard to read lots and lots of words written on white paper like this. So this is more of a creamy colour and it seems to actually have really helped me so far. Damn, it smells really good. So I've got one as a tiger. This one with black and white stripes on it. They honestly had so many options with these. I just chose three of my favourites. And this one, which also is really cute actually because these... The spines of those ones are different colours and this one is like a greeny, bluey colour, a teal, um, with pretty flowers on. There's my three notebooks and honestly obsessed with those, they're just so cute. Body Shop hand sanitizer. I really, really love the smell of this one. Most hand sanitizers that I've come across stink, disgusting and it makes me feel unwell. Some of them have literally nearly made me sick some of the ones we have in this house and it's revolting but this one actually smells pretty good it's from the body shop and it's the mango hand cleanse gel the last thing i do carry with me every single day is my water bottle it's got a goldie on it for ellie <laughs> and it's just blue and pretty and i really like this but i really really like this one it's from neon sheep actually so that is what is in my bag for every day at school. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy watching videos like this, watching people show me the contents of their bags. Don't know why, um, but I do. And I thought I'd give you a mini stationary haul in the middle of it because I honestly love these and all of the stationery that I've got. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, put the bell notifications on to get notified every time I upload and I will see you in next week's video. If you're going back to school or you're back at school, good luck, have fun, enjoy it and I love you all. Bye!